What happens when a designer goes to Target? Let's find out. I go to Target all the time to get certain items, and but I get distracted a lot of times just looking at the different things. I know we all get distracted at Target, right? You go in for your list and you end up with a bunch of stuff. I don't always end up with a bunch of stuff, but I do end up looking at everything, looking at a lot of different things, and sort of even just the way things are laid out and, um, and the signage, just the way that they're displayed. So I thought it would be a fun idea to take you to Target with me to see how a designer looks at Target. I'm here in Target, and this is a very, very specific aisle. It's very interesting. Here is where you will find Asian Hispanic pasta sauce package dinners. Let's check it out. This is an interesting design. This is a potato masher or a potato ricer, depending on what you would call it. And it's an interesting design because it is more of a rectangle. It's designed like this, where you can really put weight on it if you wanted to. You could really put, use your body weight to use this, and it seems very strong. This is a typical potato masher or potato ricer. And I'm not so much talking about the bottom part, the squiggly part, which also works. I'm more talking about the handle and the way you would get leverage on this. Um, I'm curious to know if anybody has ever used this. It looks very intriguing and interesting to me. So here's another thing I found, and to me, this is a design flaw. This, it's hard to do this with my, for myself. This is an oven mitt. Now what's wrong with this oven mitt? No eyes. If ever there were an oven mitt that needed eyes, it would be this oven mitt. I don't know what they were thinking. I find Target to be very confusing. Here is how they separate the cereal. Adult favorites. Interesting. Okay, I kind of get that. Then we have kids' favorites. Now, by kids I'm sure they mean children. They don't mean baby goats. But here we are, kids' favorites. Alright, I can kind of understand this distinction. Help me with this. Family favorites. What does that mean? So what do you think? And what do you find interesting when you go to Target? What, what just strikes you as being funny or what is sort of designed the way that they maybe didn't intend? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And while you're here, please subscribe. I'd love to see you again. Until next time.